Canadian Bulldog from Wrestling Merchandise and Memories, that's merchandiseandmemories.com. We talk about wrestling video games, they don't typically have heels. Even though the nature of the genre features heroes versus villains, there's nothing inherently villainish about the bad guys in most matches. Sure, they're being booed, but they can wrestle clean, especially if you happen to be playing as a said heel and choose to stay on the straight and narrow. However, there are some exceptions, so here are five wrestling video game villains we should talk about. Just before we get started, wanted to let you know that September is Arcade Month all throughout Wrestling Merchandise and Memories. That means more than 100 reviews of classic wrestling video games, plus tons of other unique features. Check it out at bit.ly backslash arcade month. One of the first commercially available wrestling video games was 1983's Tag Team Wrestling which was available on the Nintendo Entertainment System, as well as personal computers, arcade cabinets, and the Commodore 64. You were able to play as the fun-loving babyface duo known as the Ricky Fighters, and they were perennially matched against the team of the Strong Bads. Were the Strong Bads truly considered bad guys? Well, the word bad is right in their name. In the 1986 release Pro Wrestling, which was for the Nintendo Entertainment System, no matter which wrestler you played as, you ultimately went up against the boss character known as the Great Puma. And while he looks more like the Sugar Crisp Bear than an actual Puma, you have to hate a wrestler so evil that no one could ever beat him. Much like the game Pro Wrestling, the video game World Championship Wrestling, which was released in 1989 for Nintendo, had a boss character that everyone was forced to face in order to win the coveted WCW Championship. The WCW Master was twice as tall as the rest of the roster. And yes, we realize he's supposed to be Andre the Giant under a mask, even though Andre never worked in WCW. One more boss character, or rather characters, appeared in the 1989 arcade cabinet game WWF Superstars. After your randomly assigned tag team, probably Big Boss Man and Honky Tonk Man, defeated three other duos, you had to face the Megabucks, Ted DiBiase and Andre the Giant, flanked by wrestling superstar Virgil, in order to reign supreme, and the Megabucks were more than happy to talk shit about you in between the matches. And finally, events of the past couple of years notwithstanding, how is Mr. McMahon not the top villain in a wrestling video game? Between his dastardly actions as the WWE owner or general manager, heck, we wouldn't even be surprised if Mr. McMahon was secretly behind Stephanie McMahon's kidnapping in WWF Betrayal. Vinnie Mac is so evil that he even puts Bowser and Dr. Robotnik to shame. So, what do you think? Were there any wrestling video game villains we missed on this list? Let us know in the comment section below, and please make sure to like and subscribe to Wrestling Merchandise and Memories.